The leading figure in Shia Islam in Iraq was assassinated by two car bombs on August 29, 2003. The killing of Ayatollah Saheed Mohammed Bakir al-Hakim, along with 94 other people, and the wounding of hundreds of others at the holiest site in Shia Islam sparked outrage both in Iraq and across the world. As the Ayatollah had been a vocal critic of Saddam Hussein, Iraqi Shias initially blamed his supporters for the attack. Hussein would later release an audio statement from hiding denying the attack, but proving that he was still alive. A risky move considering he had a $25 million US bounty on his head. The assassination would eventually be tied to the Sunni-backed terrorist organization that would go on to be known as Al-Qaeda in Iraq, and as such it is seen by some as the instigating event in the sectarian violence that became a feature of the Iraqi civil war and would later ripple out across the Islamic world. The attack was further evidence, as if any more were needed, coming so soon after the destruction of the UN headquarters in Baghdad by a truck bomb, that the American-led occupation was failing to put together the country they had torn apart. But Western media had more pressing concerns at the time.